For a sense of COVID-19 activity, the total number of new cases diagnosed in the last 14 days is a good stat to use. Canada's north has at most three cases over the last two weeks, less than one a day. In comparison, the four East Coast provinces have way more COVID. It was pretty active in early June, but things settled down by the time the Atlantic bubble opened July 3rd. It grew to about one case a day, but now it's dropping. Then when we add in the rest of Canada, the East Coast numbers get completely swamped. The rest of Canada never got below 4,000 cases in two weeks, and the numbers are rising now to more than 6,000. But there was a point when Canada was on track to get control. June 18th, when Nova Scotia Premier Steve McNeil first seriously talked about opening up to the rest of Canada, the trend showed cases coming down to nothing around the start of July. That's why McNeil could talk about opening up in mid-July. But after that, the rest of Canada lost control of the disease. And instead of joining the East Coast on the safe side of the first wave, it's becoming a greater risk.